Thank you uh, very much, Presiding Officer. Um, listening to this debate so far, I, I think it would be easy just to speak for only 30 seconds or alternatively speak for 30 minutes, given some of the issues that I've touched on. Um, but I would like to begin by thanking the uh, committee for their uh, work and their endeavours in getting to a stage where we can debate stage three without any amendments. Um, I also want to put on record my thanks to all the organisations who gave evidence to the committee and provided briefings ahead of this debate as well, which has helped to inform my understanding. Um, to some extent, th this bill's importance and significance is in inverse relation to its size. And that is a point that um, many members have touched on, including Jamie Green and um, Ross Greer, um, I think described it as being a very short and simple bill. But often with issues that are perhaps short and simple, we can find the fissures in our public discourse and expand them quite considerably. But I think actually in general principles of this bill, which to an extent this debate is a rehash of and what we had at state, what, stage one, I agree with entirely. And placing on a statu statutory footing the questions of sexual orientation and trans history as voluntary questions, I think, are very, very welcome. Um, I also uh, want to welcome the fact that this census in 2021 will be a, a predominantly digital say, um, census, but with provisions in place for people who are not um, able to participate digitally. Um, and I'll be interested in terms of the implications that has for the ex expediting the production of the data, because I am going to be fascinated to see the data that emerges out of this census, because this census coming up in 2021 comes at a, a very significant time, not just for Scotland, but for the world, because we are seeing um, in, in many quarters, I don't want to see attention, but a very strong dialogue taking place between different generations. Generation Z, those born in 1996, um, are, are now coming of age. Millennials, such as myself, born between 1980 and 1986, are not quite at the knacker's yard, but it sometimes feels like we're heading that way. Um, don't worry, I won't go on to the Generation Xers and the baby boomers of indeed the silent generation. Hi, James. Um, now, the reality is from this, the data from this has very significant and real-world implications in terms of shaping public policy. And as Tavish Scott said, we have a, 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 a task every decade in making sure that we get this census absolutely right. And I think the process um, with regards to this bill has been commendable in working forward. And I hope the process is characterised, uh, or the tenor is characterised the process of this bill moving through Parliament will inform the conversations and discussions we have um, in the next parliamentary year when we look at the census order. Um, I certainly do not envy uh, those charged with devising questions. It is an extremely complex issue because identity is an extremely, extremely complex issue. But while a census is an event, it is a cumulative intergenerational process. And I think one, in concluding, one remark I would like to make reflecting on the 2011 census, which um, included, and it was a very welcome inclusion of a question on carers. Within that census, 429,000 people identified as carers. But in a subsequent Scottish Health and Experience survey, 759,000 people identified as carers. Now, there's a number of complex reasons for that, and I think it's appropriate to highlight that during Carers Week. But that's because not everyone who is a carer realises that they are a carer. So there's a constant need for work and guidance to help people to understand the questions that they're being asked and to understand its relevancy to their own lives, their own circumstances and their own experiences. And I hope that we can continue to take a very um, moderate and considered approach um, as we progress through the process towards the census and considering the questions themselves later on in this parliamentary session.